Let's take our Bibles to Matthew chapter number 7. The Sermon on the Mount continues and Jesus is giving us more information about how we ought to attempt to live life. And then he comes into this area where I think we all struggle. And uh, it's, what's interesting is, is that people always want a different version of the Bible, but love the King James the way it says this verse, because this one has teeth and we can use it against somebody when we feel like they're doing this very thing. Uh, what's crazy about this is it's it's an issue about judgment or judging others. And so let me read it to you and then comment on it. <clears throat> it says in verse number one, chapter number seven of Matthew says, Judge not that you be not judged. Uh, for with the judgment you judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. And so it isn't necessarily saying you are prohibited from making a judgment. Uh, not, I'm not talking about a judicial judgment where it's ironclad. You can make judgments. Just be careful when you make judgments or make sure you understand what you're doing when you make judgments because um, it's going to be measured back to you the same way. Uh, God says that we're really going to we're going to reap what we sow, and so in the area of judgment, it's another reaping and sowing. If I'm harsh and critical and unforgiving, or when I look into someone's life, not willing to even consider the circumstances that they're going through, well, then the net rest of this passage is going to probably be the truth about us. In fact, he says this. He says, "Why beholdest the mote that is in thy brother's eye, uh, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye?" How or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat or that speck that's in thine eye and behold a beam or a, a giant piece of lumber uh, in comparison is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye and then thou shalt see clearly uh, to cast out the moat in thy brother's eye. And so what it is, it gives us a reminder. Remember, there is a grace in this because each one of us is failing in some way. Each one of us is doing it wrong somewhere. And so we would always be in need of someone's judgment. But what he's trying to say is you give grace to people because you also struggle with sin. There are issues in each and every one of us. And so same thing with the, the woman at the well, the, not the woman at the well, but the, the woman found in adultery and they said, we're supposed to stone her for this sin. And Jesus said, well, the one without sin, let him cast the first stone. And so uh, everybody walked away because they knew they could not cast a stone. Well, the same principle applies when we're working with each other. Uh, let's, instead of throwing stones, uh, let's, let's be working on and, and have a, a certain amount of grace that comes with the humility found in knowing that each one of us makes mistakes. Each one of us uh, is failing in some way. Each one of us is not getting it done right. We all have secrets. We all have problems going on in our own lives. And so when we see a, a failure in someone else, instead of running to make sure that everyone knows, hey, they failed, look at their colossal failure, we need to turn that mirror back on ourselves and say, wow, theirs is that obvious. I wonder if mine's that obvious too. And so I hope that helps you because I think that a lot of times we determine that someone has done something to us or somebody purposely did something to us without any consideration for that person's character, without any consideration for the possibility that I might also be failing in that same exact area. It's called casting judgment. It's called it's called hurling an ungracious uh, a spotlight on someone's small reality when in essence, the real bad thing that's going on is in us. And so let that help you today. When you're looking out at what people are doing, maybe they're even doing to you, consider the possibility that your sin could be just as blaring and glaring as theirs. And so turn that mirror back on, my, on yourself and say, well, what do I have in my eyes? What's going on in my heart? What's going on in my life that I need to deal with? Because if it looks like what's going on in their life, I need to change mine. And that's Jesus' warning right there. He says, remember, you've got things going on in you. Deal with it. Deal with what's going on in you. Have a great day.